This patient was referred to me for evaluation of tooth number 19. According to the patient, the root canal was done 5 to 10 years ago. The crown is only 1 year old. A few weeks ago, patient started to have pain. Went and saw his dentist and his dentist told him that his tooth was abscessed and the root canal had gone bad. The root canal had failed and patient was referred to me. That's why it's important to take a couple of PAs before you put a brand new crown on a tooth. So we discussed options with the patient. Patient decided that he wanted to try to see if tooth could be saved. As you can see, previous root canal, that's a porcelain crown. Short fills, short fills, periapicarulicency here and here. So my goal would be if patient wants to try to save the tooth, go through the porcelain crown, remove, a build, remove the buildup, remove the gutta percha, and see why this dentist filled short. Instrumented short, filled short, what happened? And that's what we did today. Patient decided that he wanted to try to see if tooth could be saved. Unfortunately, we had to go through this brand new crown, porcelain crown, that was done a year ago. Went through the porcelain crown, removed the buildup material, removed the gutta percha, the working length of the mesial canals was 27.5 millimeters. 27.5. So that explains why this dentist instrumented and filled short because very likely didn't have the 31 millimeter files. But that's no excuse to do this, to do this kind of root canal. He should have immediately or she recognize and refer the patient to an endodontist but went ahead and did the root canal this is my mid-up x-ray just to make sure because i went to 25 millimeters and i was still not getting any signal from my apex locator so i said okay let's take a pa and see where we are with this tooth and as you can see at 25 millimeters i was still short take a look at the curvature of the distal canal there look at that all right and here's the post-op so as i said my goal was to regain patency because the few millimeters in the apical area of all these canals that was not instrumented irrigated instrumented cleaned disinfected was the area was the problem area was the area that had necrotic tissue and bacteria so i had to regain patency no matter what as you can see we did that here as i said these canals were 27.5 millimeters long this is another angulation take a look at the 90 degree curvature of the distal canal everything went beautifully we temporized the tooth referred the patient back to his dentist